10 lives were taken from us yesterday. That's 10 empty place settings at the Thanksgiving table. 10 families without the funny sibling, the witty uncle, or the generous daughter. 10 funerals. Long after the national TV cameras are gone, after the headlines fade, after yesterday's events are relegated to history, this pain will persist in Boulder. I hope this body can honor the victims, not only with our silence, our thoughts, and our prayers, but with our action. This is traumatizing what has happened to us. And I have gone through deep sadness for the victims and their families. And we have often felt, especially in the last few years, like it's going to be a matter, not a matter of if, but a matter of when. At some point, this was going to happen in Boulder, and it feels very personal. It feels very personal. Every morning, when I get ready to leave the house, I reach in the closet, I grab Alex's jacket, wear that in with me. Because I, I hope that that keeps me grounded, that keeps me, that gives me a calming effect. And I also hope that during the course of, of my day that someone else, you know, will notice it and they'll see this is, this is what gun violence looks like. This is a survivor and a victim of a mass shooting and, and this is, is what it looks like. Some days, um, when I know the days are going to be really rough, I wear it on inside because I need his strength. I need to feel him holding me and telling me, Dad, you can get through this. So that's why I'm wearing it today. I apologize, I'm very raw about this. And I think that I'm raw because it just keeps happening and my heart doesn't have time to heal in between. Our people, your people, do not feel safe. I, I need to rephrase that. It's not that we don't feel safe, we're not safe. It's feeling safe is an illusion. Being safe is something we can do something about. We are going to have another moment of silence at the end of the speakers today. But I don't want to lead that because I don't want to be silent. The victims won't hear our silence. We have to speak with our actions. We have to make it easier to get mental health services than it is to get a gun. We have to address our culture of violence. We have to be loud, not silent.